Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm in a Lumens Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. So here we are, we have brand new fresh starts and I'm here to talk about some of the things that are coming up uh, energetically and things that are going to affect your body. So one of the things that I specialize in is about the body, all of your bodies, all of your subtle bodies, your human body, your light body, and these subtle bodies that comprise your light body. So I'm here to talk to you about from the new moon to the full moon. So we have a pretty big event coming up here. Um, it is a lunar eclipse. It's being called the super full blood wolf moon. That's the way I've seen it out there. And yes, it's a lunar eclipse. So the moon does appear reddish if you're able to see it. If you've never seen a lunar eclipse, it's worth seeing. It's, you know, quite an event. It's, you know, fun to see the moon um, alter the color as, you know, the shadows pass between. Okay. But the whole idea of why does the uh, eclipse have such a bearing on us? Okay. Number one, the moon itself has bearing on your body. You're, you do have water in your body, just like the moon can pull the tides. It can pull things with you. We're in some watery energy still. And it's water and fire. So if you're not aware of yourself as a twin flame, you are a being that can actually and is supposed to be able to integrate the elements. Fire, air, water, and earth. But Earth is also cosmic. So this year is for a lot of the cosmic levels of you. So just like I spoke about in my last uh, video, the cosmic level parts of you are coming into play. That's where it gets a bit baffling for the mind. It's hard to understand this. So let me ask you a few things about your holidays. Did you find that your family structure is altered? Did it feel like your family was a bit like strangers to you? Maybe strangers going through their own stuff. Did you feel detached? Did you feel as though you may not belong in that family? But it felt different. It didn't feel like you wanted to yell at people. You just felt very like you're just not from here. You're not from these people. That's actually not a bad thing if you felt like that. But it can be very strange and it can be feeling very um, alienating for you. It can make you wonder where your life is. So this first quarter of the year is going to be about getting your life structure going. It's going to encompass all areas of your life. I go into much more detail about this in my webinars. But we will start by saying from the new moon to the full moon, these small changes bring big results. What does that mean? So as you go into a new year, a lot of people are like, oh, I have some resolutions. And then you self-sabotage and then you screw it up and then you feel remorse and the same cycle continues. The one thing I'm going to tell you is make small changes. Make something that's manageable for you. So for example, if you're committed to working out, don't go gangbusters with it. Make a sensible schedule for yourself. What can you manage and reasonably accomplish? That's what you do. Being a twin flame is about balance. It's not about being perfect because the perfection is in your light body. The human side of you will still have weaknesses and you'll be tempted. You'll have character flaws that you're working on. We're constantly improving. We're constantly polishing ourselves up, okay? But just like you live in an environment where things corrode, metal corrodes, batteries wear out, people fall asleep, people get sick, you're going to have things happen. That's a part of living here. You have to cut each other some slack. You're, you still have a human side, and your twin does too. So I talk about that in my classes as well. How do, how do you balance this? How do you balance these multidimensional sides of yourself? Well, part of it is going to be 
You need to isolate for growth. In order to grow, you have to get away from people. Sometimes that means get away from their opinions or their pressure or their beliefs and focus on yourself. If you know yourself, and some people don't know themselves, but part of this is get to know yourself. Get to really know yourself. Okay? I'm going to say, I'm going to jump over here. Are you seeing what needs to be cut? And do you know what your triggers are? What happens when men feel their triggers? When men feel their triggers, the first thing they do is feel them. Okay? They usually take action. What happens when women feel triggers? They sometimes deny them talk themselves out of it. So men and women approach it differently. And you're usually socialized with a different approach. Men shove it someplace, women set it aside, and yet your light body is not going to carry these patterns into your physical union. So even small things, small changes bring big results. What are the things that trigger you? Because I guarantee you, the world's going to get it out of you. It's not always your twin that triggers stuff. Your twin helps you heal things. Your twin helps you heal. The entire universe is a trigger or can be. Okay. It's not that everything has to trigger you. But if there's something that needs to go, you better believe it's going to get triggered out. You are detaching from the old paradigm. This includes the old fifth dimension. We are entirely moving the central sun from one area here to earth. The central sun is going to be just above you. You're intended to go there, but you need to bring all your stuff. It's no different than, you know, if you were packing for a trip or you were packing to move someplace and you said, well, hey, what about all my stuff that I left over at this place? I used to live in Barcelona. I love Barcelona. Barcelona is great, but now I'm going to live in New York. But I need some of that stuff. Okay, you're going to bring it with you. How do you bring it with you? You bring it through the body. It is passive, meaning you have to point it out to your higher self. But it's active. That means you have to engage your light body. In order for you to feel... Okay, there's areas of you that are affected emotionally about things. So a lot of things out there address the emotions. How you feel about this, how you feel about that. You want someone to say sorry for you. You want someone to regret something they've done to you or vice versa. You regret some things you really like to make peace. You want to mend your fences, but somehow you feel you'll be rejected. You feel that somehow nobody will hear you out, give you a chance. How do you get other chances? Well, that's the good news. This year is about second and third and fourth chances until you get it right and it feels right. And yes, that is absolutely your twin flame union because love doesn't hold grudges. Love doesn't demand. Love doesn't keep score. People are coming out of relationships where all those things take place. Let me ask some of you men. This is a question for men. Do you ever feel like you get punished? That you can never do anything right? No matter what you do. Are you raising another person's child because someone else was a bum and they couldn't take care of the responsibilities, but you stepped up? Okay. What if you had to suppress your sacrifice? So there's a lot of things that get overlooked about what each, you know, each side is doing. Women, what irritates you? What annoys you? What have you had held inside that's been there since the time of a child? What is your body bottling up? Because I'm going to tell you, your lymph and your spleen, part of how you know this is if you crave sweet, you want that sweetness of your union in your life, but you cannot let your spleen become inflamed. So you have to elevate these parts of you how do you do it? Well, I'm here to tell you a few things. You have to have new proper pain management. A lot of us have had pain. A lot of us have had what I would call cosmic level pain. You've had oppression. You've had fear. You've had anxiety. You've had financial woes. You've had people that have saddled you with stuff. 
their problems, their children. You've had other people. You can, um, a lot of these things can affect your sleep pattern. You are going into a time where what happens to your twin can and will affect you. And it will be a passive thing, meaning it's not going to be their habits. It's not going to be, although it can be, things like, well, they get drunk and I felt the hangover. Does that ever happen to you or has it happened to you? They were feeling all flirty and I could feel it and it was painful for me. But what happens when your twin needs to start healing? One of the big questions I get from people is, how is my twin going to get this? Well, I'll tell you this, it's not through conversation. They get it through your cosmic heart. They get it through the part that you share, which is parts of your light body. And this is where small changes will bring big results. So when you focus on small parts of you, parts where you want to stay connected with your twin, areas where you want to feel the sweetness of your love between each other and not the mind, okay? This is not telepathy. It's not duality. It's you coming into unity. That's the real unity. <clears throat> People sometimes think, Unity consciousness is everybody being like a clone and, you know, going in the same direction. What you'll find is that people want variety. This person does that. That is truly what makes the world spin is when people are expressing their love in ways that they feel. It's poetry. It's design. It's technology. So the things that you might find difficult are accepting that, you know, there is so much of the body with this and that it's not a separate part of you. Your body is not a separate part of you. Your light body is not a separate part of you. It's all you. It's all you. So your family structure will change. The things that trigger you will change. Pain management will change. A lot of people, when they've had pain, what do they do? Drink, drug, medicines, uh, some combination. Some people like to pick fights. What is it? Those things are not going to be carried forward into your union. They're not going to be carried into the new fifth dimension, that's for sure. So... You, you have to point to ways that these problems will be resolved. The problems get resolved actually through your light body. That is what I teach. So to help you with that, I have my second book out. My second book is out. This is book two. It is about the twin flame body and twin flame ascension and breath. Okay. In this book... I have a glossary of terms. So if you felt lost with what things mean, what is this? What is that? What are these words people are using? There's a glossary in there. There is explanations on what is going on, ascension symptoms, what to do about them. I have several exercises to help you get your light channels open. And... There are several things that you will need in order to get yourself up and running and working with your twin flame ascension. There are specific ways to breathe and to get your channels open. When I talk about channels, the channels are the parts that circulate the love between you two, no matter where you are. And right now, a lot of people are very accustomed to it being just one area here. You know, it's telepathic. I can hear my twin. I hear things, you know, but that's limited. We're talking about a total body experience. We're talking about love that is beyond space and time. You have a cosmic love story that you're landing up here on earth and meeting each other and going back out again freely not tied to old things, truly lovers who look out for each other. 
How many people have been in relationships where you have, you know, no way of, you know, knowing where you stand with that relationship? With your twin flame, you always know that you're loved. Your twin flame is always thinking about you because you're always there. You're there, whether they like it or not. So the link is down below to get my book or on my website. I'm also doing sessions. This is book two. Book one is out. Twin Flame Ascension and Breath is what this is. And it's specific to Twin Flames. It's not some abstract stuff about Ascension. This is Twin Flame specific. I also do sessions. I do live one-on-one -on -one sessions. You can reach out to me at TwinFlamesMerge.com, TwinFlameBody.com, or email me at TwinFlamesMerge at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. I will be back with more because these energies are going to be intense for some people, but there are things to do, okay? You can also check all of my videos going back. There's a lot of great information. So if this is new to you, check out my videos and like me on Instagram or follow me on Instagram because I am starting to put more things on Instagram um, just because it's quicker and you can, uh, you know, see little updates on there. So thanks so much. I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.